Well, once again, Mark, Brady Dugan sounding very optimistic. You try and challenge him on some chinks in the armour, perhaps, of course, the wealth management unit seeing not as strong as had been expected, particularly in the asset management department. But he just manages to shrug this off with an answer for everything. He really was sounding very bullish on the back of their first quarter results, saying this was really vindicating their strategy. Remember, profit up some 30-fold compared to 2012. That is, of course, because previous years we've seen a charge on their debt. But return on equity, which is oh so important in terms of the investment banking model nowadays, is improving up to now some 14%. They're seeing net asset inflows, 12 billion overall in Swiss francs. But really, I wanted to get to the nub of it. Is your strategy the right one to keep in as a global bank, to keep with all the investment banking offerings that they have, whereas UBS, of course, has taken such a different direction with just focus on the wealth management unit? This is what I had to say about the strategy. That 16% ROE for the business as a whole is one that's very strong. And then, as you mentioned, I think one of the most important things is our investment banking business produced a Basel III ROE of 23% in the first quarter. That's a very strong performance. And as you know, in this new world, our view is that the investment banking businesses have to be focused on returns on equity. That really shows uh, you know, the tremendously strong position we have. And as you say, we feel that that really does show that the strategy that we pursued is working. There were some concerns regarding Europe net inflows into the wealth management area. They have seen outflows once again and that therefore also seeing some headwinds in terms of low interest rates, which Brady Dugan did mention. But overall, he's sounding more optimistic in terms of European economy, the European environment and saying that the, really the market is now able to almost take it in its stride far more nowadays. You know, things are improving in Europe. They're gradually but relatively consistently improving. Obviously, the market's view of that is somewhat more volatile. So sometimes people are much more optimistic, sometimes more pessimistic. But I think actually the Cyprus situation is a good example of showing that the markets will take these kinds of events in stride. So I pushed him much more on terms of Cyprus as to whether really the Andrea, Angela Merkel, of course, and whether the European leaders did take the right strategy. He wouldn't give me a full on answer, nor would he really outline exactly where those 90 million Swiss francs of litigation costs were falling, whether it was related to LIBOR, whether indeed it was related to US tax provisions, of course, the ongoing investigations into tax evasion that has been the main problem regarding Swiss banks. But at the moment, he does sound incredibly bullish going forward and he says that the second quarter does seem to still have the amount of momentum that the first quarter did.